Well, you love this video where I showed you 15 things you didn't know you could make in the air fryer. Well, I've got more where that came from. Today, I've got 10 more things I bet you didn't know you could cook in your air fryer. My name is Kathy and I am here to help you actually get that air fryer out of the box and start using it. And you can say goodbye to those hot kitchens in the summertime. You ready? Let's go. Some of these you might find dangerous or dangerously easy. Let me know which ones are new to you and which ones you're excited to try out next. And if you want, you can grab my air fryer cookbook at yummyairfryerrecipes.com. Oh, you're gonna love using your air fryer to saute onions. Slice your onion. Put it right in your air fryer. I've got avocado oil and I'm just gonna coat my onions. Stir it up with my hands because that's how I roll. Give it a little more oil. And I'm shaking on some kosher salt. Pop it in the air fryer, 380 for 10 minutes. Time to take a peek at these bad boys. Looking good. Hear that sizzle. Just stir them up, pop it back in. Oh, they look gorgeous. You can cook these longer if you want to, but for me, oh man, they are perfect. Mm. Oh, I love them. My husband, he won't like it tonight, but <laughs> these are good. Chicken skewers in the air fryer, we're going there. I'm starting off with about a pound of chicken. You just wanna make sure you get them as even as possible. Pat your chicken dry, and then just spread it out in a layer. Sprinkle on a little salt. And I really liked some smoked paprika. You can do any seasonings that you love. Either way, it'll taste fantastic. Now, because the air fryer basket is nine by nine, regular skewers aren't going to fit in here. But I have this awesome accessory kit. It comes with some skewers that will fit right in my basket and a little rack that they can sit on. I have a link to this down in the description box below, as well as a link to a video where I talk all about air fryer accessories. But you're just gonna thread up your chicken right into the skewers. Of course, you could do this with any sort of protein and delicious summer vegetables. Pop those in your air fryer. And if you wanna take it up a notch, squirt on a little bit of barbecue sauce. We're gonna start with 350 for 15 minutes and I'm gonna hit my shake reminder. Let's take a look. Oh, they're looking good. Let's take a quick temperature check. Just gonna rotate the chicken so I can put a little more barbecue sauce on. I'm just gonna brush that in. Definitely do not need eight more minutes. So I'm gonna just bring the time down for about three more. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, yeah. Got some caramelizing going on there. And if you don't have kebab racks, never fear. You can do it just in a single layer in your air fryer. You can add veggies in the basket too. Here we go. Mm. Perfect. Homemade tortilla chips, we're going there. I've got some yellow corn tortillas, and I'm gonna chop these four up into cute little pieces. Spray the basket and pop in your tortillas. A little squirt, squirt again. Throw on some salt. And if you're nervous about them blowing around, grab your accessory rack and just set it right over the top. Pop it in the air fryer. I cook it at 3.30 for six minutes. Here. They're looking good. They're starting to crisp up. This time I'm leaving the rack right there. I don't think these are gonna blow around. It did blow around a little bit. I want them a little more crunchy, so I'm gonna give it two more minutes. Those look so perfect. Are they crunchy? Why yes. Yes, they are. Toasted Uncrustables, ah, you know it. Two Uncrustables in the air fryer. 375 minutes. Here we go. Ah, looking beautiful. Drizzle on some Nutella. This is up-leveling your Uncrustables. Mm -hmm. So good. If you're not using your air fryer to reheat leftovers, I don't even know who you are. We love reheating pizza, chicken fries, <laughs> but from last night, we've got some deep fried cheesecake bites. We're gonna reheat those. So excited to see how these go. The general rule of thumb for reheating leftovers is 350 for three to five minutes. Let's go five today. Let's take a peek, oh boy. 
I don't know, I think three minutes was perfect. Let's see if the leftovers are as good as the real thing. Go kid, it's my graduate. Ooh, 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 good? Mm -hmm. Is that hot in the middle or cold? Hot. Oh, perfect. Three minutes, 350, just as good as the other night. Air fryer popcorn. <laughs> this one's a little sketchy. Start with a quarter cup of popcorn kernels. Now, of course, the popcorn's gonna fall through these holes, so we're gonna turn to foil, or today I'm gonna use my silicone basket. If you want foil, go ahead and just line it in the basket, and you'll wanna make sure you make a little wall for the popcorn. But instead of having to go here, where it's gonna get stuck, reverse it, and make your own little homemade pan. And you'll wanna make sure you have some room for airflow. My red silicone basket, it's gonna work fantastic. Put the kernels in, make sure they're in a single layer. Pop it in the air fryer and cook it at 400 for eight minutes. There's about two minutes left and I hear the popcorn popping. Moment of truth. It's a little sketchy, yes. Is it as good as a movie theater? No. Is it fun to make? Absolutely. I made some air fried Oreos in this video, but what about air fried peanut butter cups? Let's go there. Get your Reese's, get your Crescents, or put them together. Roll out the dough. I swear these were bigger when I was a kid, right? Roll off the wrapper and plop them down. We're not gonna follow these lines. These have been refrigerated and that's gonna just help them. You could even pop them in the freezer. Just load up your Crescents. Then I'm gonna just lightly make my own little lines here. Make it really easy to wrap these puppies right up. Sweet, I got all of them in the basket. No need to spray them. We're gonna cook these at 350 for about six minutes and I'm pressing my shake reminder. Time to flip these. These are ultra gooey. Hello. Now because they are so gooey, I'm gonna pop this up to 400 just so it can get nice and toasty. Here we go. Ah, they're nice and Dust them with some powdered sugar. Okay, I have some taste testers ready and willing here. Ready? Hot and gooey. What do you think? Mm. Not messy. Not messy? I don't really like peanut butter so much, but it's still yummy. Who are you? I still Peanut butter and chocolate, that's a yes. Enjoy these ham and cheese egg rolls for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. You're just gonna scramble up some ham and eggs first. Throw in some salt, pepper, then stir in about a quarter cup of cheese and let it melt. So those six eggs and the ham that I used came to about two cups of mixture. This is gonna be enough filling for eight egg roll wrappers. You can find these in the refrigerated section at your grocery store. Then I've got a quarter cup of the egg mixture. I'm gonna put it on the lower third, fold it up, fold each side in, and then finish rolling it up. Then give that pan a spray. I'm really liking my new sprayer. And just place those egg rolls seam side down. Leave a little space in between. It looks like I'm only gonna be able to fit seven in there. Ooh, I made a squatty one. We'll squeeze him in. Then give that a spray with your avocado oil or olive oil. Pop it in the air fryer and you're gonna cook it at 400 for six to eight minutes. I'm using my preset right there. Here we go. Oh boy, six minutes was plenty. Wow, those look fantastic. Oh, nice and crispy. Okay, egg rolls, ready to taste test. Ready? Cheers. Those are good. Score mom. Woo! Very good breakfast. Nutella? I'm in. You'll need a lightly floured surface and some biscuits. You're gonna flatten out the biscuits so they're about five inches wide. You can use your hands or to make it easier, a rolling pin. Next, grab your little helper and we're gonna cut these in half. Then put just a little dollop of Nutella there and have your little helper fold it in half and pinch the ends together. I'll show you how I can seal it. These are gonna be Nutella bites. Any cute yummy? I'm gonna pop down some parchment paper and just pop these in. Not the end of the world if this happens. And then so you don't have that powdery finish, we're gonna throw on some egg wash. Got my egg wash helper. Now we're gonna pop this in. We're gonna go low and slow, 300 for eight minutes, and there's my shake reminder so I can flip them. Ooh, they're looking beautiful. Give them a flip. Let him finish cooking. And 
those look beautiful. Dust it with some powdered sugar. And look at all those layers. Ooh, those will be good. All right, grab one, ladies. Taste test. Fresh out of the air fryer. I like that treat. It's so good. It's gonna be like Nutella donuts. Of course you can make french fries, but how about some apple fries? Start with four apples that you peel and slice. If you use an apple cutter, this only cuts eight slices, so you gotta cut each one in half so you can get 16 slices from each apple. Get a cup of flour, three tablespoons of apple pie spice. If you don't have that, you could use like an all seasoning, any type of fall spice, then whisk that together. Whisk together three eggs and add in about a teaspoon of vanilla. This will be your egg wash. Put your apples in a big bowl and then mix it up with the flour mixture. You could also do this in a plastic bag and just shake it up. You just want to coat the apples. If your bowl has a lid, you could shake it up that way too. Then get a baking sheet with a wire rack and you're just gonna dump this right over the top and you'll just let that extra flour fall down to the bottom pan. I'm gonna put these apples back in the bowl. See all that extra flour? We're gonna use that. And then I'm gonna pour the egg mixture right over the top of my apples and stir them up again. Just mix those up so everything is coated nicely. Now we'll put the apples back into the flour mixture one at a time and dredge them for a second time. Make sure they're not overlapping and then just give them another squirt of oil. Pop them in the air fryer and cook them at 330 for 10 minutes. Press your shake reminder. We're gonna flip them halfway through. Oh boy, these are already smelling so good. Ooh, yummy. I'm just gonna stir these up real quick and then spread them out into a single layer again and give them one more little squirt of spray. Back into the air fryer. And while your apples are cooking, just make a little cinnamon and sugar mixture. It's about a half cup of sugar to two teaspoons of cinnamon. Right, they're done. Oh yeah, that looks good. Then just sprinkle on that cinnamon and sugar. It looks and sounds and smells amazing. All right, we're gonna taste test the apple fries. Ready? I'm so nervous. You're nervous? Mm -hmm. Oh, so good. One, two, three. Mm. What? I say yes. She says no. Yes, there's more where that came from. Make sure you see these 15 things that you didn't know you could make in an air fryer. I think you'll like this one too. I'll see you on the next video.